I'm Pastor Larry Cobb of the Redeeming Light Ministries. Today we're talking about faith. Some people have always had a problem believing the Word of God. The Word of God teaches us that no one can please God without faith. Romans 3 and 28 says, A person is justified by faith. All the promises of God in Jesus Christ are yes, and in Him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. But God must see your faith. Jesus said, If you can believe, all things are possible to him or her that believes. Faith enabled Enoch to be taken directly to be with God. He did not die. Hebrews tells us that he was translated from the physical realm to the spiritual realm. No one could find him because God had taken him. Scripture states that before Enoch was taken, God was pleased with him. Faith pleased God. We see that all through the word of God. Scripture teaches us, if any of you need wisdom to know what you should do, you should ask God and he will give it to you. God is generous to everyone and doesn't find fault with them. When you ask for something, do not have any doubt. A person who has doubt is like a wave that is blown by the wind and tossed by the sea. A person who has doubt shouldn't expect to receive anything from the Lord. A person who has doubt is thinking about two different things at the same time and cannot make up his or her mind about anything. Their loyalty is divided between God and the world, and they are unstable in everything they do. Faith obeys the word of God. Faith produces doers. Faith responds to the promises of God. Faith provides us with the ability to resist the devil and draw near to God. Faith waits patiently for the coming of the Lord through trouble and trials. Faith stifles complaining. Whatever you want from God or whatever you want him to do for you, find in his word where he promised it to you and pray his word back to him. Why? Jeremiah 1 and 12. The Lord says, I am watching to make sure that my word come true. Isaiah 55 and 11 says, My word which come from my mouth is like the rain and snow. It will not come back to me without results. It will accomplish whatever I want and achieve whatever I seen it to do. First John five fourteen and 15 says, Here is what we can be sure of when we come to God in prayer. If we ask anything according to his will, and his will is his word, he hears us. And since we know he hears us when we make our request, we also know that he will give us what we ask for. Mark 11 and 24 says, When you pray for something, believe that you have already received it, then it will be yours. John 14, 12 through 14 says, I can guarantee this truth. Those who believe in me will do the things that I am doing. They would do even greater things because I am going to the Father. I would do anything you ask the Father in my name so that the Father will be given glory because of the Son. If you ask me for anything, I will do it. John 15 and 7 says, If you remain John to me and my word remain in you, ask for anything you wish. 
and it will be done for you. James 5 and 16 tells us, the prowess of a godly person is powerful. Abraham's faith made him right with God. The scripture tells us, Abraham believed God, and God counted him as righteous because of his faith. When there was nothing left to hope for, Abraham still hoped and believed. As a result, he became a father of many nations, as he had been told. That is how many descendants you will have. Abraham never wavered in believing God's promises. In fact, his faith grew stronger, and in this he brought glory to God. He was, fully, he was fully convinced that God is able to do whatever he promised. And because of Abraham's faith, God counted him as righteous. And when God counted him as righteous, it wasn't just for Abraham's benefit. It was recorded for our benefits too. Assuring us that God will also count us as righteous if we believe in him, the one who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead. He was handed over to die because of our sins and he was raised to life to make us right with God. 